everybody. Welcome to the Hallmarkies podcast. We are so excited today to have another interview with one of the actors in the upcoming movie Redemption at Cherry Springs. And we have uh, Keith Robinson here. And thank you so much, Keith, for coming on the podcast. Yeah, thanks for having me. And what we like to do with our actors is we like to start out giving you a chance to introduce yourself and tell us what inspired you to get into acting. Okay. Uh, my name is Keith Robinson. Um, what inspired me, I, I'm, I'm a musician. Uh, I guess that's my first love. And I really uh, wanted to explore and acting to kind of uh, enhance my performance on stage. And I ended up uh, discovering a, a career in it. So uh, it was kind of a, a happy accident. Mm-hmm. When did you start performing as far as your singing? I saw that in your IMDb that you uh, were a singer I first. I was my first band in high school, my a senior year in high school. What kind of music did you guys perform? Uh, R&B, soul music. Mm, what was the name of your band? The name of my band in high school was State of Mind. No, no, nice. wait, no, no. I'll take that back. I take that back. That was my second band. The first name was Chemistry. Ah, was- good. <laughs> Very good. Uh, did, did you? Where'd you grow up in? I grew up in the South Carolina, Georgia area. Oh, okay, cool. And how did you end up in doing all these projects in Canada? Uh, well, I've, I've only done, I've actually only done one project in Canada, which was, oh, really? uh, yeah, which was a pilot uh, for Save the Last Dance. You remember the movie? Mm-hmm. Fox did a spinoff TV pilot uh, and I played the lead in the pilot, oh, uh, cool. which didn't get picked up. Mm-hmm. Did you see my Instagram recently or something? Uh, no, I just thought, I guess I just assumed that the Hallmark projects were filmed in Canada. Well, no, no, uh, we, I've actually never, we, the projects that I've done with Hallmark one was in Utah, and oh, the, other okay. one, the other one was in New York. Nice. Okay, this cool. Good. So you started out with Power Rangers, is that correct? That was my first acting gig, yes. Yeah. How did that come about? That was that same acting class that I ventured into. Um, the teacher thought I had some talent, suggested I go read for the role, and I, I ended up landing it. Nice. Yeah, wow, that's a pretty big role for for your very first acting role. Yeah, I guess so. I get looking yeah. back, I guess it was. I, I really didn't know at the time, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Were you super nervous when you first started? I wasn't because you know I really didn't have any skin in the game. It was just really I was a musician first, so it was kind of like a, I, I looked at it as a great way to, uh, to pay my third of the rent. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> You know, I got paid to be a superhero, and that's really how, how, how much I really took it to heart with that first job. But you know, um, I quickly I knew it was I knew it was a great opportunity that I could probably build off of. So I think I did a pretty good job of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, was it was it pretty fun to get to oh, yeah. be a Power yeah, Ranger? It was, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I mean, something I never thought of. I never saw myself mm-hmm. doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and did your family think that was pretty cool? They did. They're blown away because uh, I just moved out to L.A. with my band on a whim. And then I called them and told them I'd be on TV on Saturday. So they were uh, they were they were blown away. I bet if you had like nieces, nephews, they were pretty excited. Uh, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm more excited. I'm excited about showing my son. My son is I have a young mm-hmm. son, so I can't I can't wait to show him. Yeah, that'll be really cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very good. Uh, so you've done a ton of projects over the years and, uh, what, what do you, what do you think, or how would you describe life as a working actor? Uh, well, I mean, that's a big question in life in what way, like in, uh, what are the challenges? What, what are the highs and lows, I guess, of being a a working actor? Well, I mean, the, the, the highs of course are being able to work you know, to yeah. get the job, especially if it's a job that you wanted or you feel like it's, uh, you know, it's great material and great people involved. I mean, that's always a high. I mean, the lows is the in-between time, I think, just trying to maintain a career, trying to keep your head above water and stay mentally, mentally and, you know, spiritually and physically um, in a positive space while you're mm-hmm. on the in-between time because there's a high level of, of rejection and competition. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be the challenge because you, you you go to so many calls. Yeah, it, it mm-hmm. ain't for everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Well, you got to be in the film for Dream Girls. That must have been amazing. Yeah, that was cool. That was a, that was a lot of fun for sure. Yeah. What was that like working with such a cast? And uh, it was cool. I mean, everybody was supremely talented, and everybody was excited about the project. And uh, we knew we had we were working on something special, and uh, it was just great to be around everyone so accomplished and be a part of the team, be a part of the dream team. It must have been fun given your musical, your music background, being yeah, in awesome. R&B. Perfect. Yeah, it was, um, it was right up my alley. So it was, it was my chance for me to use both muscles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Did you get to record with any anybody from the cast? Uh, I recorded some with Jamie uh, at his, mm. in his home studio. Um, haven't recorded anything with Beyonce. Um, okay. I would like. I, perform with them but you know um that's on my bucket list mm -hmm. yeah i mean if they ever do a dream girls too <laughs> yeah i don't think so i mean it's a broadway <laughs> show. it had to be completely fictional and i think we've come up against a lot of opposition yeah i i think so too <laughs> We'd like to take a second and thank our sponsor for this episode of the podcast. Terry Ferris, author of You Belong With Me and Until I Met You, returns readers to the charming town of Heritage, Michigan in the Restoring Heritage series finale. Fans have enjoyed immersing themselves in the complicated, funny, and endearing lives of this small town. And since you've been gone, Ferris offers another romantic tale where sparks fly when two people at odds in the past must learn to trust each other to ensure a better future. Not only do you get one great romance in Since You've Been Gone, but it also has a sweet secondary relationship, which includes themes of faith, forgiveness, and love. Pick up Since You've Been Gone wherever you purchase your books or use our affiliate link. For more information on the Restoring Heritage series, visit www.terryferris.com slash books. That's www.terryferris.com slash books. So the new movie, Redemption in Cherry Springs... Yes. Uh, this looks really interesting. We're excited about it. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the movie? Tell the audience a little more. Well, it's, about it's a classic murder mystery. Uh, I think it's a real um, creative turn for uh, for Hallmark. It's, I think it's not your typical Hallmark movie. Mm -hmm. um, it's about a a um, a murder that is um, takes place in a small town outside of New York, and there's an investigative reporter who. Uh, is compelled to figure out who it is and she be, kind of becomes puts herself in a line of fire and my character is a detective that used to work in manhattan and now lives in a small town outside of manhattan to try to create a quiet life and kind of stumbles into the middle of this case and we're trying to figure out uh why this murder occurred especially in that such a docile calm environment and really try to catch who's doing it so it doesn't happen again and keep uh rochelle Yates' uh character out of trouble, which is uh, easier said than done. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it does look a little bit darker than uh, the other yeah. cozy mysteries that they have on movies and mysteries. Yeah. So I'm definitely intrigued. Yeah. I was intrigued by the script. It shocked me. I was, I, I was surprised that it was a, a script from Hallmark, you know, cause they're mm -hmm. usually super clean and, you know, yeah. Let me go so I'm, I'm happy to see that they are kind of uh, getting their hands dirty a little bit. And this one was shot in New York, you say? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. That's cool. Usually it's Vancouver pretending to be New York. <laughs> that's what I hear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, very cool. And that must have been great working with Rochelle. We had her on the podcast last year and she was so great. Yeah, she's sweet. Great actress. Really good. Really great person. I've been knowing her for a long time. So it was good. Oh, to really? get you. Oh, it was good to work with your friends. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. How do you get, did you audition for the part or did they bring it to you or? They, they brought me the script. They brought me the offer and, uh, you know, I read the script and I was in. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Uh, do you know if this is a one-off or are there hopes for a series? Do you know what their plans are? I, you know, that's the, that's the, uh, that's the million dollar question because the script is open-ended, uh, between me and you. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, there's 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 no closure so uh i think it lends itself to that um uh, i think it's always dependent upon if uh it's a story that really resonates with the audience if they want to see more so I, i'm hoping uh you know it, it has legs so we'll see 
So what was it like shooting with the COVID uh, restrictions and everything like that? Did you feel like, did you feel like it was a safe, safe set? Yeah, I felt safe, you know, for one personally, because I've been vaccinated and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the safe, I mean, uh, sets are really sticklers, especially with the union about being very safe and, and uh, cautious. So you're almost safer there than you are just walking around by yourself ungoverned. So I, except for the test, which luckily was not, um, well, they were nose tests, they were nose. The test can get a little taxing because you get brain surgery every other day, but <laughs> no. Lobotomy every. Every day. So every. other than that, you know, it, it's okay. It's doable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so you also have shot the Christmas at the Madison with the, with yeah. the Williams sisters. Yeah, we're really looking forward to that. So that's actually two movies. Is that right? That they're yeah. going to have? Yeah, it's like a double feature. It's actually it's the first time it's ever been done, I guess, in TV, the where it's two movies that are they cross they're, they're cross they cross board, meaning like you may see one shot in one movie and then you may see the other side of the room in the other movie. Oh, so it was a, it was a very unique uh, idea that they came with. So like one movie will have one character's perspective, next movie, a different character's perspective, like in the yes. same room. Yes. Oh, interesting. And that it's going to be two sisters. So that's yep. interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. And, and you shot that. Cool. Yeah. Uh, you shot that in Utah, huh? Yeah. Uh, Cause I'm in Utah. I'm from Utah. Oh, you're in Utah now? Yeah, I am. Yeah. What part? <laughs> I live about 30 minutes south of Salt Lake. I love Utah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Nicest people I've ever met. Nicest place I've ever been as far as people. Yeah, it's a I pretty fun place. Huh? And you can't beat the mountains. Nah, you can't beat them. And, and I like so beautiful. when there's no snow, when it's, when it's warm. I know, mm -hmm. right? I know when it's cold, I'm sure it's a different story. But it was the weather was great. So Can you shoot I, this in, like, July? We shot it in... Um, April, May. Oh, April, May. Okay. So you might have still had some mildly cold weather. It in was April, mildly at least. cleared up. Into May, it was it was beautiful. It was, uh, couldn't beat it. Mm -hmm. I absolutely loved it. Yeah. So you didn't have to be too like bundled in the extreme heat. No, 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 no. That's good. <laughs> like some of these Christmas movies. <laughs> I thought it was. I mean, I brought I brought my triple fat goose, but I, luckily I didn't have to whip it out. Uh, all right. Well, we like to end our interviews with some fun, silly questions. So right. here we go. First question. What is the best ice cream flavor? Chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh, very good. Yep. Classic. Uh, what is your favorite color? Uh, turquoise. Oh, that's very specific. <laughs> <laughs> Just blue. Very, very good. Okay. What music are you into? It probably goes without saying, but since you, I mean, I, I'm into all kind of music. I, I mm -hmm. love, but I love hip hop and R and B. I mean, that's that's where I yeah. resonate. But I, I can dig. I, I dig a lot of genres. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. And if you have anybody that you're uh, that you're particularly hyped up on right now? Uh, I've been listening to the new Drake album on the way over here, which I'm feeling. Uh, yeah, I love her. She's dope. Uh, like uh, Dua, Dua Lipa, what's her name? I don't know. You're not up on her, huh? No. Uh, I like <laughs> Justin Bieber's new album, actually. I mean, his new music is, you know, it's always. Yeah. I'm across the board. Cool. Good. All right. Uh, what is your go-to date night food? Go-to date night food? Yes. Really trying, trying to charm someone. Uh, steak and Twizzlers. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what back when we can actually go and do activities out and about uh, in the town? What is your go-to date night activity? Uh, I, I like I like going to nice dinners. I like movies. I like sitting. I mm -hmm. like I like chilling at the beach too. Mm. Uh, little picnics on the beach, you know, blanket, wine, yeah, or dinners, party favors. Sounds good. All right. Dogs or cats? 
Dogs. Okay. Beaches or mountains? You probably already answered that. Yeah. Beaches. Okay. Would you rather be in a suit or suit and tie or sweats? <laughs> yeah, it depends on my mood, but if I, I mean, my go-to is sweats, of course. But I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind dressing up. Yeah, I think all of us after 2020 are 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 leaning maybe more towards suit and tie <laughs> than we were before. <laughs> We've been in sweats too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What is your favorite holiday to celebrate? Uh, Christmas. Yeah. Well, Christmas or New Year's. Yeah, it's tough to beat Christmas because it's a whole season, yeah. whole month or oh it, or more. Especially in Hallmark. <laughs> yeah. All right. Last question: What is your favorite Hallmark or romantic movie? My my favorite Hallmark romantic movie. Yes. Uh, uh, Christmas at the Madison, a sister swap. Okay, good. The new one that makes right. us very excited because we yeah looking forward to it. All right, very good. You answered all the questions. Awesome. <laughs> you can keep making homework movies. <laughs> sure. Well, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to talk with us. We really appreciate it, and we're looking forward yeah. to the new movie and. Do you have social media or anything like that you want to share? Yes, Keith Sings. It's my first name in S I N G S. Great. We'll have that in the description, so make sure y'all follow Keith. And uh, thanks again for taking time to talk with us. Thanks for having me. We'd like to thank Keith for coming on the podcast and talking with us. This was so much fun. And make sure you follow us on social media at Homework Pod and Homework Podcast, all of our social media. And if you are listening on iTunes, please leave your ratings and reviews. I re we really appreciate that so much. If you are listening on YouTube, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate that so much. We also have our patron group and merch store and all the information for that will be down in the description. So check that out. And also make sure you're following me at Rachel's Reviews, all of our social media, iTunes, YouTube, and on Rotten Tomatoes. I would sure appreciate that. And thanks again to Keith, and we'll talk to y'all later. Bye, everyone.